Welcome to NHL Draft Pros. In this video, I'll be doing a scouting report on the projected number one prospect for the 22 NHL Draft, Shane Wright. And as always, I'll go over some stats and break down game highlights. Shane Wright is a skilled two-way center with very high hockey IQ that plays for the Kingston Frontenacs in the OHL. He's listed at 6'1 and 187 pounds. He shoots right and plays the center position. Like I said, he's the consensus number one prospect, and it's a clean sweep down the board. NHL Central Scouting, TSN Bob McKenzie, Craig Button, FC Hockey, McKean's Hockey, and Elite Prospects all have him ranked as the first overall pick. Here's a quote from Craig Button at TSN. There are generational players, superstars, stars, and in some cases, just really good NHL players. Wright falls into a category of star in the mold of Patrice Bergeron. He's a complete player who can impact the game in many important and critical situations. So that's a pretty nice compliment because Patrice Bergeron is an amazing player. If we look at his stats, they speak for themselves. Two years ago, he was granted exceptional status to the OHL and had a great rookie season. In 58 games, he had 39 goals, 27 assists for 66 points. And this past season, he put up 94 points in 63 games. If we look at the shot map, we see that many of his goals were scored on the right side. Next, let's take a look at his points per game. His 1.49 points per game were the best across the CHL for draft-eligible prospects. Even with a slow start at the beginning of the season, he still ended up being the top player in the CHL for points per game. And if we compare his points per game to past draft year players in the OHL, we see he's not in the same category as Connor McDavid. However, he did put up some impressive points per game in his draft year. Other notable players were Cole Perfetti, 1.82, Steven Stamkos, 1.72, and Nick Suzuki, 1.48. So some pretty good company. Next are his advanced stats. And if you look across the board here, he's pretty consistent, and it just shows that he's just a great overall player. His Corsi and Fenwick were 55 and 57. His accurate passes were 83%. Points per 60, 3.7. That's pretty good. Assists per 60, 2.50. And that's in all situations. And his expected goals were 32, which he matched. And shooting percentage was 12.3. So some pretty decent numbers right across the board. As always, we're going to break down some video highlights and go through skating, shooting, passing, puck control, hockey IQ, and what he needs to work on. So the first thing is his skating, and you'll notice that he's a pretty good skater. I wouldn't say elite skating, but pretty good, and he holds his own. In this clip here, it's the CHL prospect game, and he takes it out the zone and just buzzes down and blows by the defenseman. Actually, that's not the defenseman. That's a Connor Geeky, but uh, watch this. Picks up the puck, and he's gone, and then he gets a nice return pass right here, and he buries it. That was the first goal of the game. I was actually there. Pretty awesome game, and here we see on the reverse angle again, slow motion, pops it up, breaks through the middle there and return pass for the goal. So nice skating. And this one here is going to pick it up in the offensive zone, and he's going to blow by these guys. Watch this. He gets it right here off to the races and uh, ends up getting a nice scoring chance. So let's watch it again in slow motion. So once he sees that they get possession, he is gone. And nice long stride, and he gets the uh, pass here, and he almost scores, but nice skating. This one here, same thing, offensive zone. And we're going to see him pick up the puck here, and he's going to take it for a skate. And if you look at the guy at the top there, he can't keep up with him. But anyways, he ends up passing it to him, and uh, they take it in the zone. So watch this, picks it up in the offensive zone, and he is gone. So like I said, pretty good skater. I wouldn't say elite, but definitely can hold his own. All right, shooting, and he's a pretty... Oh, there it is. Look at that. I love the shooting. So this one here, you'll see, same thing, mano a mano with the goalie, and he just beats him. Nice goal. Watch this from this angle here, close up. This is the one that we want to see. You'll see he'll pick it up here, and he just zooms. <laughs> what a goal. Again, picks it up uh, top of the circle there, and he just lets it rip. What a goal. Let's watch that again. I think we're going to do it in slow motion first. Yep. And then boom. Far side. Nice shot. Close, close up, as always. And boom. He, You know what? His release, really quick release. He gets it off fast. So this one here, same thing, arrows on him, and he just lets it go. A quick release, boom, and that thing's in the net. And then here on the close-up, you'll see that quick release, snap, and it's in. Nice goal. All right, passing, again, very high hockey IQ, so he's always making the right pass. Actually, he passes a lot. If you ever watch his clips, he's always passing. And this one here, he slides it right through some D, and oh, what a pass. Five on three, but nevertheless, watch this, right through two sticks, three sticks, and it's in the net. Thank you very much. Again here, so this one here is pretty nice. He actually, he gets the puck behind the net, and it's a no-look pass right up front, and <laughs> what a pass. 
So let's watch this again. You're going to see, not right now, this is slow motion, so he's going to pass it through the lane there, and uh, his teammate pops it in. But watch in slow motion here. See, he's not even looking. He just knew where to put it. Amazing. Nice goal. And then this one here. Actually, I did like more close, but so he'll pick it up. And uh, so here's some of it. You're going to see, like, this is kind of his IQ, too. He slows the play down, and he just, he knew the guy was there. Like, no look pass yet again. So he knows, like I said, he sees the ice really well. Look, not even looking, and he just knew where to put it. And a nice soft pass, too, which is pretty impressive. So let's watch this again in this from this angle. So watch. He already knows where the guy is. He doesn't even know. He's looking at the D, and then just backhand pass in the slot. They score. Oh, this one here, you're going to see a nice little spinorama pass. So he gets the puck here, takes the two players with him, and just draw. Like, again, no-look pass. Um, so a lot of these clips that I'm showing you are no-look passes, but he does pass a lot. Um, but look at that. No-look pass. What a pass. Nice goal. Fantastic. Another aspect of this game is puck control. Pretty impressive. Like I said, the other thing that he does is that he's got good puck control, but he slows the play down. Now, that one there, you're going to see him close up how close the goalie has so he takes it in watch this poke check nope gotcha far post it's in nice hands again takes it in here and he just puts a move on this guy who oh see you later walks around and he gets a scoring chance nice little play there we'll watch that in slow motion so he again takes it in slows the play down you know good players great players actually always can slow the play down draws two players to him takes the one guy beats him and then gets a little scoring chance here Nice play. All right, this one here, he picks it up right now, and he does a little circle, and then he's going to come in. He's going to dish it off, and then he's going to get back into the play, so we're going to slow it down here. So that's him at the bottom with the arrow there, and then he'll pick up the loose puck there, makes a move on that guy, nice hands, and gets a scoring chance. So let's watch that again in slow motion, passes it off, stays with the play, goes in the right place, picks up the packs, nice move right there, and then gets the scoring chance. So some pretty nice mitts. All right, next is Hockey IQ. And like I said with him, very high Hockey IQ. Always reads the play well. That one there, he just banks it off the goalie. And then, now, from this angle, you'll see it a little bit better coming up. What a play. So I think, I don't know if he was trying to pass it there, but still, nice play. This one here picks up the puck. And then this is where I said he slows the play down. He takes it in, draws two players, and then dishes it off, and they score. Nice, really nice play. Same thing. So he takes it in, sees that he's got time, draws two players, dishes, nice little pass, and they score. Very cerebral player. This one here, he's going to take it in and watch this, draws a D, and then boom. As soon as the D commits to him, he dishes it off and they score. And he actually even takes the goalie with him too here. If you watch in slow motion, so right now everyone thinks he's shooting. He's shooting because that's his bread and butter right there to score. And, uh, and he just dishes it over and it's in the net. All right, this one here, so compete. Again, he works hard. So this one here, he goes in the corner, gets it, takes a hit. Stays with the puck, watch this, and then puts it out front for the possible, it, you know, not a bad place. So watch this, takes it to the net, so he's not afraid to go into the dirty areas. Goes in the corner, takes a hit right here, stays with the play, picks up the puck, and passes it out front, and uh, the one player can corral it. All right, in this clip here, you're going to see that he's going to kind of attack the play. So right now, he's going to go in there, um, tries to get it, then he does a little stick lift right here, gets the puck, stays with it. Passes it, nice pass again, and then watch. He goes right in front of the net. The defense kind of gives him a couple shoves, but he stays with it, and he stays in front of the net, almost gets the rebound. So, like I said, he's a pretty big kid, and he's not afraid to go into dirty areas. Right there, he's got one on four. Beats the guy, goes around the net here, takes it for a skate. Look at five guys on top on him. Uh, there, it was a penalty kill, but nevertheless, like watch this. Beats two guys, three guys, takes the puck. They're on the uh, penalty kill. And, uh, and then he drops it back to his D, kill some, more, kill some more time off the PK. Okay, things that he needs to improve on. So in this play here, you're going to see that he picks up the puck in the neutral zone. And then he's going to go in, and he's going to try to force a play. So sometimes, uh, right there, you know, a little bit more simple. Could have dumped it in, but uh, decide to go for it, and they end up getting a goal. So uh, one thing, but he does it very rarely. He'll force the play. Most of the time, like in this, usually nine times out of ten, he'll dish that off. And this time, tried to take it in, got picked, and they end up scoring. But like I said, of all the clips I watched of him, and I watched a lot throughout the year, he rarely makes a mistake. He usually dishes it off, passes it off. And this one here, same thing. You're going to see he's got the puck. There's two guys, and he tries to sauce it to the D. Mistake, they score. So a little bit, but like I said, rarely does he do that. Right here, tries to sauce it, but he picks it off, and they score. But for the most part, and like I said, he's just a great all-around player. And his strengths, obviously, are his hockey IQ, 
uh, his two-way play and his compete level. He's always moving. He's always thinking the game one step ahead of everyone else. And his shooting and passing is on point too. So lots of positives in his game. What he needs to work on, like I said, those two mistakes, and it's very rare where he tries to force a play, either you know stick handling through uh, a couple guys or trying to uh, pass in, in, a, in a dangerous spot. And then, you know, might have to work on his strength a little bit. Obviously, the OHL is different than NHL or uh, the next level. And so a little bit of work on that, and he should be fine. Some viewers were asking to, uh, you know, post the next video. So the next video is going to be on Matthew Savoy. Hopefully have that out in a couple of days. And that's it. If there are any players from the 22 NHL draft that you'd like to see, please leave it in the comment section below. And please like and subscribe to the channel to help us grow. Thanks and have a good night.